In an era when medicine is constantly developing at a dizzying pace, and scientists are continuously searching for the elixir of youth, the secret of longevity remains elusive. Are advanced medical procedures, a specific diet, or perhaps genes the key to achieving old age? Exceptional people who have lived over a hundred years have answered this burning question. Jeanne Calment. This French woman is recognized as the record holder for human longevity. 122 years and 164 days. She was born in Arles in 1875, saw the construction of the Eiffel Tower, and met Vincent van Gogh in her youth. Possessing a brilliant wit, even at over a hundred years old, she often surprised people with her memory and resilience. Jeanne had a passion for life, always remaining curious, energetic, and full of stories from the past. Many attributed her long life to a combination of various factors. She led a relatively carefree life, was an avid consumer of olive oil, and occasionally drank a glass of port wine. Jean also believed in maintaining an active lifestyle, cycling until the age of 100. Smoking, which she practiced for almost a century but quit in later years, seems paradoxically contrary to traditional wisdom about longevity suggesting that a mix of genetics, environment, and positive attitude played a larger role in her long life than strictly adhering to all health guidelines. Throughout her life, Jean Calment not only became a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, but also a symbol of joy, showing that longevity is not just the number of years lived, but also savoring every moment with grace and enthusiasm. Kane Tanaka. This is a Japanese supercentenarian born in Fukuoka, Japan. She has long been recognized as a symbol of longevity, repeatedly earning the title of the oldest living person in the world. As a symbol of resilience and an icon of Japan's aging population, she has lived a life full of experiences, from observing the changing dynamics of the 20th century to the rapid innovations of the 21st century. Her lively mood, sparkling eyes, and ever-present smile are a testament to her enthusiasm for life. Tanaka has witnessed many important global events, including two world wars and the emergence and disappearance of various trends, technologies, and cultural movements. Despite these massive changes, her basic principle, cherishing life, has remained unshaken. Kane's journey through over a century was not free from challenges, but her spirit always remained unyielding, approaching every obstacle with grace and dignity. The key to her longevity is often her lifestyle and attitude. Kane has always been an advocate of both mental and physical activity. She likes to play board games, especially the Japanese game Othello, challenging herself and keeping her mind ready. Her diet, based on traditional Japanese cuisine, was rich in vegetables, fish, and rice, and she often emphasized the importance of moderation in eating. In addition to diet and mental activity, Kane's social interactions also played a role in her long life. Surrounded by a supportive family and community, she was always surrounded by love, laughter, and companionship, which are known to influence overall well-being and happiness. Her deeply rooted faith additionally provided her with spiritual comfort and a sense of purpose. In short, the secret of Kane Tanaka's longevity does not lie in one magical elixir, but rather in a holistic approach to life. A balanced diet, constant mental and physical activity, strong social bonds, spiritual faith, and perhaps most importantly, unwavering joy and appreciation for every moment of life. Lucille Randon. This is a French super centenarian being the fourth oldest person in history, as well as the oldest ever consecrated person. Born in 1904 in Alice, France, she went through numerous historical stages, including devastating world wars and an endless number of social changes. Devoting a significant part of her life to serving others as a Catholic nun, Sister Andre, for that is the name she took when she entered the convent, she attributes her long life to deep faith which gave her a sense of purpose and comfort. She also believed that the key to longevity is a balanced diet and physical activity. Although she admitted to occasional pleasures, 
reaching for her favorite treats. Above all, her positive attitude, the ability to find joy in simple things, and an unwavering connection with faith seemed to be the real key to her lasting vitality. It seems that her spirit, saturated with grace and gratitude, has found the perfect recipe to appreciate the gift of a long life. Nabitajima. She is a Japanese super student born on August 4, 1900. The woman was the epitome of perseverance, leading an extraordinary life that spanned three centuries. Born on the quiet offshore island of Kikai in Japan, she grew up in a world very different from the one we know today. Tajima possessed a character enriched by the wisdom that only comes with age, and an exuberant heart that rejoiced in the smallest joys. As the stepmother of an extensive line of descendants, she welcomed more than 160 descendants during her lifetime. Although Tajima never explicitly laid out a plan for her extraordinary longevity, her life offered a few clues. Adopting a diet rich in fresh vegetables, whole grains, and seafood, she enjoyed the traditional foods of her homeland. In addition, her quiet life on the island, away from the chaos of urban landscapes, may have contributed to her longevity. A sense of community, close family ties, and daily rituals, all rooted in cultural traditions, played a role in keeping her heart young and spirit alive. But perhaps the most profound lesson Nabi Tajima offered the world was not what she ate or where she lived, but how she lived. With a passion for life, boundless love for her family and an unwavering spirit, she showed that longevity is as much about the quality of life as the quantity of it. Marie-Louise Melieu. She is a Canadian of French origin, known for her longevity. From August 1997 to April 1998, she was considered the oldest living person in the world. The woman was a vivid symbol of resilience and vitality, living through changing times and witnessing the tremendous transformation of the world. Born in Kamouraska, Canada in 1880, she was a woman with strong family ties who gave birth to and raised 12 children, some of whom lived to be over 90. Marie-Louise's longevity secrets were not complicated formulas or complex rituals. Rather, they were intertwined with the simplicity of her daily life. Marie was a passionate advocate of the power of community and family. This connection, both emotional and physical, nourished her soul and anchored her spirit. Daily tasks and activities, such as farming and maintaining a close-knit family, provided a sense of purpose and continuity. A vegetarian diet, among other things, was cited as a recipe for longevity in her case, but this can hardly be considered a decisive factor. In addition, daily living, she kept her body moving and her heart in good shape. While genetics may have played a key role, Marie-Louise's life was also a testament to the importance of living authentically. Staying rooted in one's roots and nurturing interpersonal relationships, as she traversed 117 years of life, her journey was a gentle reminder that sometimes the secrets of longevity are hidden not in miracle potions, but in the quiet rhythm of a life well lived.